sadistic and sympathetic. Our national hero, Jose San, gave his life on this hallowed job, the ideal manifestation of love of country and dedication to the service of our people. It was therefore fitting that the framers of our constitution should decree that the highest official of the land shall be called upon to assume office on this historical occasion. With deep humility, I accept the nation's call to the Jew. Bound by the oath I have just taken, I am resolved that I shall be the president not only for the members of my party, I shall be the president not only for the rich but more so of the poor, and I shall be the president not only for one sector but of all the people. The primary function of the president is not to dispense favors but to dispense justice. The presidential oath of office contains the special pledge to do justice to every man. This shall not remain empty words, for with God's help, I shall do justice in every citizen. No matter who exalted or how humble may be his station in life. As we open a new era in the life of our nation, let us measure the task before us and set forth our goals. Our aims are twofold. First, to solve the immediate problems of the present, and second, is to build materially and spiritually for the future. Our first mission is the solution of the problem of corruption. We assume leadership at a time when our nation is in the throes of moral degeneration unprecedented in our national history. Never within the span of human memory has draft permitted every level of government. The solution for this problem shall call for exercise of tremendous persuasive power of the presidency. I shall consider it. Therefore, my duty is to set a personal example in the honesty and uprightness. We must prove that ours is not a nation of hopeless grafters but a race of good and decent men and women.